Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is one more video on interview questions and answer series on digital design. In one of my previous video, we discussed that how to design an overlapping sort of sequence detector to de detect 101 and in the same video we discussed few other examples also. The condition there was you have not to use a state machine. But in this video, I am going to ask you how to design a non-overlapping type of sequence detector. To detect the same sequence that is 101, here also you have not to use state machine method. The only difference is, in this case our sequence detector is non-overlapping. Actually, at the end of my previous video where we discussed the overlapping type of sequence detector, I asked the same question whatever you are seeing on your screen. And many of you answered it, and many of you answered very well, it was correct. But now I am going to reveal the solution for all. Now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, on your screen you are seeing an overlapping type of sequence detector to detect 101, though we discussed the same design in my previous video. But why I am sharing here? Because to develop a non-overlapping sequence detector to detect 101, I am going to reuse this design. Friends, just for your information sake, I am going to share the link of my previous video in the description section as well as in the i-bar section so that you can go through it. But anyway, the design is very simple. So this is SI which is input, this is detect which is output signal. So whenever I get 101 on this SI line, that I am going to apply on this AND gate and finally I will get the detect signal. I am not going to uh, go in much detail for this design because we already discussed it in detail in my previous video. Whenever there will be 101, only in that case detect signal will go high otherwise it is going to remain 0 only. But why it was overlapping? Let us say we detected 1, 0 and 1 and detect goes high. Now let us say again 0 comes and then 1 comes. The same case I am showing here, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. In that case also we will get this detect signal going high as shown in the figure here. That is why we call it as an overlapping type of uh, sequence detector. But now we, in non-overlapping type of sequence detector, I want detect should go high when I detect 1, 0, 1. And again, second time it should go high when again I should get 101 and there should not be any overlapping of the sequence. Now let me show you the design of non-overlapping type of sequence detector to detect 101. So this is how I designed the non-overlapping sequence detector to detect 101. Friends, the design is reusing the overlapping type of sequence detector. I am here using two flip-flops. The only change I made is I put a multiplexer here. So actually in the beginning just assume that detect signal is 0 only. So 0 is applied at this flip flop and this flip flop is giving 0 at its output. And at the select line of this multiplexer I am applying 0. 0 means I am passing output of first flip flop to the input of second flip flop. So it becomes the same design as overlapping type of sequence detector when detect is 0. There is no change. You can assume that there is no multiplexer here. Now, when it is exactly same as 101, so let us say in the first clock cycle I applied 1 and in the next clock cycle I applied 0, it will be passed here. Then I applied 1. So now I am getting 1, 0 and 1. That fulfills the condition of detect flag to go high. So detect flag will go high. Friends, till this point everything is fine. But now as per the requirement of non-overlapping sequence detector, I should discard these three bits and in the next cycle of detection of this detect signal to go high, new three bits should be considered as a 101 then only this detect signal should go high. So how I am going to do that? So I will not allow this one to propagate to any of the flip-flops output. Then my problem is solved. So how I am trying to do that? So when detect goes high, this will be applied at this flip flop. Okay, at this point of time I have 101 at the output of all the flip flops and the select line is 0. But detect goes high here, which is at the input of this flip flop but 
output of this flip flop is still 0. Now in the next clock cycle, let us consider I got 0 here. So this one will be propagated at the output of this flip flop. Now this flip flop 2 will pass 0 from its input to its output. And the detect was high, so detect will be passed at the output of this flip flop and it finally will be applied at the select line. So this 0 will be start passing at the output of this multiplexer. This node will be high, output of multiplexer will still be 0 because I don't want to propagate this one. And output of flip flop 2 is also 0. Friends, under these conditions, when this node is 0, this node is 0, this node is 0, detect flag will go 0. But still, output of the flip flop will be high. Now let us consider the next clock cycle. Let us say I am again getting 1. Now this 0 will be passed at the output of first flip flop. Because the flip flop 2 input is 0, so 0 will be passed at the output of flip flop 2. That means whatever 1 was here, it is not considered at all. And detect was 0, so 0 will be passed at the output of this flip flop. That means again output of flip flop 1 will start passing at the input of flip flop 2. So it will become again sort of overlapping type of circuit. And again, whenever I will get 101, I will get this detect as high. Friends, this is how I try to achieve non-overlapping type of sequence detector to detect 101. Maybe you can have a better idea. So if you have any type of idea apart from this idea, whatever I shared, please share your idea uh, in the comment section and maybe we can discuss it there. Friends, I have also created a, another embodiment of the same design where we can replace this 2s to 1 multiplexer with a simple AND gate. And let me share what will be that. So this is how we can replace that 2s to 1 multiplexer with this 2s to 1 AND gate. So here if detect will be 0, that means input of this AND gate will be high. Whatever is at the output of flip flop 1 will be passed at the input of flip flop 2. So that is not going to impact it. But when the tech signal will go high, it will make the input of this AND gate as 0. So output of this AND gate is bound to be 0. So the behavior is just similar to whatever we were trying to achieve with the help of 2H21 multiplexer. Friends, now I have a question for you. And the question of the day is, you have to design a non-overlapping sequence detector to detect 110. And here you have not to use state machine method. In our previous video, we already discussed how to design overlapping type of sequence detector to detect 110. But here in this case, I am asking to develop non-overlapping sequence detector. Those who come to know its answer, please write it down in the comment section so that we can discuss it there. Friends, with this, I am going to end this episode and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please don't forget to press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And in future, we are going to create many such videos. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. And to get the notification of all the upcoming videos, press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.